Mr. Toastmaster, Madam Toastmaster, honored guests, I would like to share my moment. A few years ago, a friend gave me a ticket to go on a boat ride out to Channel Islands. It was a hard time in my life. A person very close to me was in the hospital for months and months. I visited him in the hospital day after day, and the sadness had overcome me. The boat ride was welcome. I'm sitting on the boat one early, early morning, fog everywhere, salt on my face, reflecting. Remembering the stories that he had told me of taking a bicycle ride up Catalina, the head of the pack, slamming the surf of a tennis ball, having a romantic evening under a tree in a park, and then looking at him in the bed day after day. Couldn't lift a fork. Would look at me from this close wouldn't recognize me. He had been stricken with an infection, a broken leg, multiple sclerosis, in the hospital for months, very sick, struggling to be alive. And I was reflecting about all this on the boat. And being in California, I don't go on boats a lot, and I was not feeling so good until I walked over to the side of the boat in the fog and looked around and the fog started to lift and I saw a dozen dolphins on the crest of the wave of this boat going, how California, dolphins! But in that moment of seeing the dolphins, I had so much joy fill my body. Flash forward to the next day, I woke up, and for a moment I was very happy I was thinking about these dolphins. And day after day, month after month, through this horrible ordeal, for some reason during the day, for just a moment, I would think about these dolphins. Well, there had to be more to it than this. So I thought I'd better think about these dolphins and study a little bit and Google dolphins and go to Dolphin University and figure it out. And what I found out was that each dolphin has their own name and dolphins have their own whistle. Everybody try to whistle. And what I learned from the dolphins swimming along was that we all have our own whistle. And to be able to understand yourself and to communicate with others, we have to be in touch with our own whistle. So that's the first key of moving forward. Identify your own whistle. Now secondly, the dolphins were jumping. And what's all this jumping about? Is Van Halen playing? <laughs> Basketball player jumping for the hoops? I again went to Dolphin University and found out that when you swim through the water as a dolphin, you go faster. And so what I learned about moving forward is that you have to jump out of your life and look ahead and look behind. And for me, part of that journey was landing right here in a jump and finding Toastmasters and finding new friends and a new outlook. So part of moving forward is finding your own whistle, jumping, and then finally, in fact, why don't we all jump? <laughs> Doesn't it feel good? It does feel good! There's something about it. It just kind of helps it feel great when you jump. And finally, the idea to go. So in my case, I remembered the feeling that I had when I saw the dolphin and gave me the idea that it's just not moving forward. It's moving forward, embracing what your life is, and feeling good about your journey, 
and where the jump is leading you to. And because I had that attitude, the story really has a happy ending. My friend did get better, and many of you are friends with him and see him at Toastmaster meetings. And for myself, I developed many, many new friends, many of which are sitting in this very room. So I challenge all of you, when you all have a challenge, think about these dolphins and whistle, jump, and go, and find, hopefully, your dolphin.